TV10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded on the 30th of January, 2021. Thank you to the Berkeley County Sheriff's Department for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode will feature an investigation into a shooting, a domestic dispute, a traffic stop, and an abandoned car. To all of our viewers in Sweden, TV10 would like to say, talk. Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Him drop the trailer off. Is that uh, sorry? Is that the hole right there yeah. in that glass? Yeah. It the bullet is laying on the floor. It went okay. Through, through Did the it come through, through the back or from the came front from here? The front. Yeah. Okay. All right. So so walk me through what happened. I'm sorry, I interrupted. I just want to make sure uh, that was what I was looking at. Yeah, I got home. Uh, what was it? Three thirty, four o'clock. Yeah, we yeah. dropped the trailer off. I never went in the house, so I left to run up my parents. My wife got home. Uh, she said that she called me and said that uh, it looked like a golf ball went through the window. I was like, no. Nah. She said there was glass all the way on the kitchen table. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, no, nah, that had to be a gun. So I hauled ass home. And, uh, she found the bullet in the meantime and sent me a picture. Okay. So Have you her. contacted any of your neighbors to find out maybe someone? Uh, I mean, I mean, there's like yeah. a decent amount of land, but I don't see anyone hunting like no. you know right down there. No, and it doesn't. So. It doesn't look like a ricochet. I don't. I mean, it's a, it, it's an intact bullet on the okay. floor. Okay. All right, I'm gonna grab my evidence kit and we can go inside real quick. Okay. Right? Are you the resident homeowner? Yeah. All right, give your idea on you about yeah. Are you also the one that called in? Yeah. All right. All right, we can head on inside. Okay. 161 Berkeley, 273 West Virginia. Do you mind me filming him inside? Mm -hmm. Thanks. see some of the glass that you're talking about like right there the little pieces here and there yeah so the, the bullets here it came through the glass through there but i don't see how it would have just stopped here after coming through all right that. that's not even a rifle around either yeah that's that's why i figure it's got to be close but even from the road that's a hell of a shot yeah. With a pistol. Now, what, what's this fluffy stuff on the ground? Is that just from like these dog. stuffed animals from the dog? Yeah. Okay. So I thought it was glass. I mean, but there's glass clean back on the table. There's glass all over your couch. Okay. Did you. Go ahead. If anything else is 10 4, just attach it. Thank you. Now, did you? I see you got glass back here, but is there anywhere that it might have bounced off from inside the house, or I have like, no I, idea. You know, you see, I haven't really checked too much out inside. I was mainly looking outside to see. There's one uh, uh, spot in the siding below the other window that the siding is embedded in the insulation behind it, so I don't know what's there. Okay.
Is that the only like shard of glass in this one right here? That's the only one I found. Okay. But I don't see anything on these walls. And it, it bouncing off of here and laying all the way back over there. I'm not. Yeah, I don't. I would be like I said with being a pistol round. I don't know how much force it's gonna have after you know coming right. through the window and everything. Yeah, two panes, but it. I mean, it ripped through the curtain pretty good. So. So the curtain was closed when the curtain was okay. Just like the other one. So I mean, it. Okay. There's no way it just. Ripped through that like that and then landed there. I wouldn't think. I mean, it's but I guess it's possible. Okay. Well, show me this uh the siding. Maybe there's another. I don't know if there might be another round in there for it. Moving the thing. But they're siding up in it. I don't, I don't see any. I can't see anything. Though. Well, I see like, you know, the indent yeah. into the. Into the I can't see anything as far as a, another round or. But now I haven't checked inside at all either. Okay. I don't know. Uh, have you checked around your house? I'd look around this side and around that side of vehicles and stuff, thinking maybe. Okay. I didn't notice anything. You got, you got anyone that might have some sort of issue with you or? Not that I know of. Um, did, did you just recently buy the house? I see that you got like painters tape and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, about a year and a half ago. Okay. Um, uh, I, I don't know. Okay. Do you have any contact with any of your neighbors? Like, do you know any of them or? Yeah, I'm HOA president. Okay. So. Um, <laughs> but I haven't kicked anybody out. <laughs> so. Well, no, I, I, I'm more meaning about being able to get information as far yeah. as like, was anyone shooting like maybe in their backyard? Yeah. Because you I only mean, have you only have to be 500 yards away from another resident. Right. So, you know, that person right there could be, you know, in their backyard shooting. Right. 500 you know feet away from any other house, and they're yeah. good. So. Yeah, you know, I mean, these people, I checked my camera, uh, these neighbors haven't been home for like three weeks now, so I, okay. nobody's seen or heard from them. Uh, the old man that lives over here, he's, he lives in Florida, okay. so he's never home. What, uh, where's your camera uh, position? Uh, down here, the doorbell camera's dead. Okay, so, uh, that's so nothing, nothing on that. This here's your ID back, by the way. Oh, uh, this camera over here only picked up one car in the trash truck today. Okay. I'm assuming it doesn't have sound. It does. I don't know how that works on the record. Because I mean, if you if you can't see anything, because it, it's that right there, yeah. Yeah. I'm not really sure how wide of a lens you have, but. I think your best bet would be if you have audio, maybe hear when it went off. Yeah. Um, and you can kind of have a better idea about, like, say, say it went off, and then that car passes by your right your okay. camera. Maybe that you know, that would give me a better idea of what's yeah what's going on. Is this thing even wants to cooperate? Are you guys like friends, family, or? I was with him all yeah. day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all day. Yeah, we were working today, and so was my wife. Okay. I thought you had to be 500 feet away from a dwelling. Dwelling or residence, yeah. But but yours doesn't count as one of those. The game warden said it does. <laughs> I believe it changed. It was like that at one point, but I do believe it it changed. Uh oh. Um. From what I remember, um, it it's 500 feet from a re like another residence or dwelling. So essentially, not yours. But I mean, if the game warden says that it's not that way, then unless you have unless you actually pull it up and you read exactly what it says and it does say that you're good, I wouldn't just go off being like, you know, so-and-so said, yeah. that, you know, that I don't have to listen to you or whatever. But, you know, I mean, if, if it's something that you're, you know, you're wanting to like contest, then I would suggest just looking it up on, you know, Western State Code and finding out exactly how it affects you if you are looking to do something like that. But I, if I remember right, it is from another dwelling and or residence, not, not from your own. From a school or church. 
It's 400 feet from a school or a church. Yeah. That seems weird. Oh, good God. <laughs> yeah, that car, I mean, the, the camera only, you can see it kind of over by that tree. Yeah. But it only, it's a blip. Yeah, very, like basically one frame of Yeah, because it's jumping from 105 to 108. Okay. So that's pretty much And you don't have any sound on that at all? Apparently not. Okay. So it does live, but it doesn't. I guess not really worth the shit. So. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. So. You don't have any other cameras that face the roadway at all? Nah, or? They, those are the only two we got. Okay. To me, offhand, it doesn't seem like it was someone that was trying to be malicious about it. Okay. But I mean, it's obviously completely negligent if you're shooting and you're you know, not knowing where your backstop is. That's just yeah. common safety. But from here, I can't tell where that that small ground could have come from other than the roadway or that you know that blue house back there but even then you'd have to be shooting toward your home right you know i mean just i'm yeah, not entirely I sure think, i don't think anybody that lives in this neighborhood would do anything like that i mean nobody nobody target practices in here back behind us all the time but not out this way okay well, I can I can at least get that for evidence, take pictures and all that stuff. Um, if you're able to get anything off of that camera, as far okay. as knowing, um, like a, like the time for that car, right? Or even uh, if you can possibly get the sound to work okay. and put it on like a flash drive and send it to me. Um, okay. The other thing that we can do is obviously fill out a, a written statement as far as like you know right. what what had transpired right. for you, um, and then. The only other thing I could say, if you, if you're, you know, you said you're the president of the HOA, yeah. is get on whatever your guys' page is. Yeah, I thought about that, seeing if anybody heard any. I'm scared, Berkeley. Heard and any yeah, shots. and then if you can pinpoint, if they say, oh yeah, I heard something, you know, approximately this time, and that's the time that I can see on your right. on your camera that the car was there, okay. that can at least help narrow down the, yeah. you know, the window of searching. But okay. right now it's it's literally looking for a needle in a haystack yeah. and not having really anything to go on yeah. right now. But I mean, that's, I'll do everything I can to figure out what's yeah. going on. I don't want anyone yeah. getting hurt over something like that, but yeah, I don't, I don't think, I mean, if somebody were pissed off at me, they would probably done more than that, but uh, you never know. <laughs> right. I'm going to call my supervisor that's coming out here right now and find out what he wants to advise. If he has any questions okay. for you or how he wants to go about it. Okay. Coming from kind of behind your house to that what? Several shots. He said. So he said that's what I just came from their house. We just bundled up all the stuff. So he said that they heard several shots coming from that way. So their house is, you know, right over there. It'd be the Coonstown or over off of Rebel Road. Yeah. Be off Rebel Road. So. That's a long range, man. what they were shooting. Yeah. What kind of bullet is it? It's, it looks like a front window here. That's cool. Oh, not know. yet. All right. Yeah, I so think. Is it like a 38 or a 45? It's, yeah, it's somewhere around through, there. Uh, two things of glass and then a, uh, so, looks like it is curtain. I'm not sure if that was enough to stop it. Good Lord above was looking out for you because you'd normally be home today. So, I've got to go deliver. Alright, I'll give you a shout as soon as we get okay. here. Okay, well, let, let him know that Ron and Murray's at the Lewis Stuff. I just wanted to let you know. Um, yeah, that's what they were doing. 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 Yeah, that's what they were Okay, where is that at? Uh, they're down, they're on okay. the right. So behind so their so house. They're, so they're like down that way? Yeah, they're they're a good ways down. Okay. But I guess that would have been in the direction of Coonstown. Okay. So, or Rebel, mm -hmm. Rebel Drive, which somebody did just move in there. Uh, I guess maybe a week or two ago. That place just sold. Okay. So, but I don't. 
Uh, it, do you have any way of like connecting with any of your neighbors that might have cameras of their own that maybe point toward can, the road? Yeah, during... I can probably reach out. And did, um, did she give you a time frame for that one or she no? She said like, what, about an hour ago? I got home at 3.45 and I left at 3.53. Well, that's got sound, but that's because it was motion in the driveway. And then she got home at 4.04. Okay. So it was a 10 minute window there that we were going. Okay. But, uh, I guess that was when they heard the shot in that time frame. But, okay. Um. So are you able to, because you seem to have a lot more like ability to actually connect with any of your of your neighbors other than me just running around knocking on I'll doors. Ask, and yeah, ask, I'll ask around. Are you able to find out if anyone has cameras or maybe find out when the shooting yeah. actually took place and who it was? Yeah. Um, I'll call Mary uh, and see, you know, what. Because it, it all depends. I mean, if they if they were out shooting, you know, yeah, obviously uh, a hunting rifle, not, obviously it's not going to be the same, right. The same thing. And if they're if they're far enough away, like what you're saying. The That's, bullet would have to come from this way, you know, or at least from the front of the house. Right. It didn't come through the back, yeah. so. Yeah, I mean, but that's even, because it looked like a pistol round to me, but that's a hell of a long way. Yeah, and it's it's, de it's, it's a, definitely small, a small yeah, caliber, you know, it, bullet, so. It drops off behind those houses there. So, I mean, I don't, okay. I don't know. All right, well, we'll we can roll back inside. I can have you fill out a statement as far as like, you know, what, what you remember and, um, how, how your okay. this all came about information as far as what time frames you actually know and you know your the information that you actually can provide okay. like knowing you know truthfully obviously not just right, like yeah. exaggerating um so with the statement form the top is going to be what you you know you're filling out just your basic information i definitely need a phone number okay. from you as well this is all your canvas to write on however much or however little you want to yeah, put and then once you're done you sign and date the bottom this side's for me okay okay How did you say your, your curtain was again? Was it just like this or was it more? No, it was just like the other. Okay. So it wasn't it wasn't fully closed or nothing. It no. was it was where it's at, just slightly moved now. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if, if you did not move the curtain and it's exactly where it was when you came home, it, it looks like it might be coming from the direction you're talking about over that hill by that the house with the white shutters. Right, yeah. So, I mean, but as the distance that you're talking about, I don't, it's hard to say. Yeah, that's it's really hard. Long ways. Uh, pistol. Oh, I couldn't even hit my damn house from the road. It just stopped from that. And that's why it's sitting right there. That's just wild. Mm -hmm. If it came from that far, it probably didn't take that much resistance to knock it down. Yeah. I mean, well, it might be why it's keyhole like it is too. The, the actual glass is not like a solid hole. It's got that like a, like a uh, snowman shape to it. So it could have been that the bolt was sideways when it came when it came through. 
Uh, you're good to cut that right now, please. Right. That's going to be the only other thing we can do is look outside for a round. Get this magic shot of the bullet going in the bag here. All set. <laughs> It definitely didn't do a whole lot to it. Yeah, it kind of looks like a 9 millimeter. Mm. It's bigger, like maybe a 38 or what? I'm not sure. It definitely doesn't seem like a very big, like a big round. Mm -hmm. I might have got the times wrong. I think I left at 353 and she got home. Or That's all right. It's, it's one of those things, like I said, it's if it's if it's the best of your knowledge, it's the best of your knowledge. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm not going to sit here and say that you were off by a minute or whatever. You said approximately, and that's that's what you're signing for. So, and you said you because I've looked around a little bit. And I just want to verify there. There's no other damage to your home at all. No, not not that I've noticed. Okay. Not from this anyway. What right. the damage from other right <laughs> the main thing right now is I, I took pictures i've got your statement um we obviously have the bullet we're gonna look around the front yard and see if we can find a casing i mean you got a pretty sizable front yard yeah. i don't know if we're gonna be able to, to find it we'll yeah. definitely look and see another needle in a haystack <laughs> yeah um i can't believe the bullet was there though that... yeah well that, that's why i i can't honestly tell you for sure but i feel like with around that small you only have in the two things the glass the curtain that right. obviously has been moved from the bullet yeah and then the bullet chilling out right there and there's nothing damaged like yeah. your, your chair nothing yeah. i mean that that might have just been when it, it hit that it just stopped you know yeah. it didn't it just was enough to yeah. to put an end to its velocity and then that's it find out who who it actually was and we might be able to follow up with them and right you know if if they did it they did yeah. it but they fixed my um, <laughs> yeah but as of right now i'm going to go out and talk to my other partner and see what we can do with the limited light we have left. Yeah. crazy even even if i was aiming with a stand and shot around like a nine millimeter from this distance that's a well from the angle you got shot. two trees and a couple yeah fence uh you know not the not a fence post but the poles on the porch and stuff yeah um all right this is kind of an odd question but was this tree like this before or no i think that's from the yeah. ice from the ice okay yeah. i think so. i was about to say i'm like that's I mean, I don't want to sit here. I don't want to sit here and be like, "Holy crap, that's the, the bullet!" But I mean, if you look where we're looking, it's kind of in the same yeah. general direction we're talking about. So I want to make sure that I wasn't going crazy, and that we only found like half the freaking round or something. It's like the space shuttle; it breaks off into pieces as it keeps going to keep its velocity or some crap, you know? Yeah. Goodness. I was just saying as we right, walked up here, I'm like the. The, the, the closer we get to where it looks like the angle of where the bullet came in, the more impossible right, the, the yeah, shot seems, even if you're trying. Yeah. Where's that house that you were that you were referring to? Is it like kind of like that, that was, direction or is it more over there? Ron and Mary's is down there, probably another quarter mile. Just like straight maybe. straight down this road yeah. that don't, doesn't turn off that's to who's, the right or nothing? That's who's in the truck there. That's Ron. They're putting giving all the neighbors stakes for the snow coming. Okay. Uh, but they live way down over this hill on the right hand side 
So shots coming from behind them would be right over this hill. Having to come over over this hill, yeah, past these houses which, I mean, and stuff. Hell, that's still part of our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Nobody up there would be shooting. Somebody would be raising hell if one of the neighbors was shooting up there or something. Okay. I'm sure I would have gotten a phone call if it were anybody in the development. Okay. But and then this house right here at the top of this hill, that's our previous president. So I think if he would have heard something, he'd have called me too. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, if, if you can, try and reach out through your connections and see if anyone heard anything. You know, if, if we can find a, a more like yeah. substantial timeline as far as when you weren't here, when your wife wasn't here, and the shot was heard. Right. You know, because. You were saying that you said you didn't notice it when you came I home, but your wife did when she house. came home. So, yeah. um, if shots were between those two times, then we might be able to figure out where it was and I can follow up right. from there. But yeah. as of right now, I mean, there's not a whole lot to, to go on as far as where that where yeah, the ground came from. When I when I came home, I mean, we were down there on the trailer, and never even we never heard any shots or anything like that. Okay. All right. Well, I think I got everything I I can get from you for right now. Okay. I mean, if, unless you have any questions for me, we can. Go ahead and get out of your hair. Yeah, it's pretty cut and dry. Call the insurance okay. and tell them I got a claim. So, but I'm okay. good to take that window up now. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, okay. I've got pictures of, of the window. I got measurements of the hole. All right. So you know, keep your all's heat in. Yeah. Ain't <laughs> hey, worried about the heat. It's the wind. <laughs> yeah. 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 You've been down here on a windy day. No. Nope. Yeah. No, I have not. <laughs> we can't even keep freaking screens in the window. <laughs> Um, yeah, we, so we had a, a shot go through this gentleman's house over here. I guess he's the president of y'all's HOA. Yeah. Did you, did you have him hear anything? No, that's what my, day? my friend just said. Did somebody shoot? I said, well, we'd have heard that somebody shot. When, uh, when was that around? We didn't, we didn't hear anything. I, oh, okay. She asked me if somebody shot because I was shooting. We seen okay. you looking on the ground. Yeah. Well, yeah, we, were, we were wondering, so are these trees yours? They're right on the property on me. Right. Okay. 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 Yeah, we, we were looking because there's a few of the, the branches look like they're cut oh. and they fell oh. down. Um, so we were making sure that it wasn't someone like back over that way shooting and it went through the trees and into that person's house. And I was trying to get pictures to make sure I cover cover my bases. Where about did it get through the house? Uh, the the three pane window right there on the to the right of the the front door oh right there on the first floor yeah right right through the middle of the of the window so what we're time trying did this to happen we don't know that's why that's why we're looking around taking pictures and making sure we know you know kind of what trying to narrow down the the search yeah so, years ago i found a hop hopping German needle mm -hmm. in my yard down right down here in the yard i was mowing i seen the little okay. yellow spot on it yeah, yeah and i stopped my tractor Okay. And that was faded, but then about six years ago, I found one right up on the building. It fell out of somebody's pan or pocket down mm. inside my flyer. Okay. Okay. But that's been years ago. And somebody stole my tractor batteries and wheel bars and stuff a long time ago, too. So, okay. I live by myself, so it makes me a little nervous what the heck's happening. I got you, I got you. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I wasn't meaning like trespass or nothing. I, I, I was don't trying care to about my, that. My I just want to know for, what's going on. I got you. Yeah, so that that's the gist of it. Um. If you if you ha like know anything or anyone heard anything, I know you're saying that you didn't hear anything yourself. But I mean, if you hear a neighbor they say something, they if you home? could, no, no. Uh, from what he was saying, that he he was gone and his wife had rolled up, and that's when they found the the bullet inside the house and the the broken glass and all that stuff. So if they they don't know if it happened so before. It came from this direction. Well, I mean, it came from the outside, from the front of the house. So I mean, oh. it, it could have been anywhere, but the you know where we're kind of having some you know there's a lot of guesswork that's going into it right now but we're trying somebody to make just a, a nice car? field of view what's that somebody could have shot from a car they could have I mean, it could have been someone but that would have muffled the sound so i wouldn't have been able to hear it yeah so we don't know so we're so yeah, we're just my checking son and my grand my granddaughter keeps telling me i better get a dog because i can't hear it at night time and take my hearing aids out I said, well, damn, I don't know about getting the dogs. Yeah. I ain't had a dog well, for years. I, if, if you didn't hear anything, then I'm not I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I'm no, going to get out of your I just want to make sure, because my, my friend in there, she's getting ready to leave, and she uh -huh. said, I'm worried about you staying here by yourself if something <laughs> happens. I said, well, I'm I got you. get out and be nosy. All right, well, you stay safe, all right? I all appreciate right, your help. Thank you. Thank you.
Thor. They may have actually served her the no trespass yeah, order just like within the last probably hour. This one legit is crazy. And we have no idea what she's capable of, if they're gonna bring weapons or not. This we like I said, we my uncle came and like let us get the dogs and everything. That's another unit. Oh, it's nighttime. I can't see very well at night. <laughs> um, but like I said, I don't wanna be here by myself when she comes because this woman is legit crazy. She's already threatening all these charges on my uncle and he's had no contact with her since last Saturday. None, actually Sunday. Last Sunday was when he blocked her on everything. And the magistrate Sunday, um, Monday morning with the court, he told Danny he's doing the right thing by getting her out of the house. Um, he's like, I would give you a protective order. He goes, but a protective order is only for 90 days. He said, if you do a no trespass order, it's for one year. She can't come on your property. If she comes on your property, she'll be arrested. Take care of that as well. We did that. Now, here's the thing. The bail bondsman's supposed to be getting here any minute. It's, um, as we, we were told she was gonna be here at 6.30. And so, told the bail bondsman, cause he's been trying to serve her all week long. Every time he goes to her residence, he said he sees them, they peek out the window and she takes off and hides. So he hasn't been able to serve her. Same trailer that you told me about. Same trailer, that, yep, same one. And we actually had the address for that trailer. We, yeah. Danny and I drove by there Monday morning before we went down to the courthouse and made sure we had the right address so we can give the correct address to everybody. But yeah, so we drove down, made sure we had the right address, made sure we had we give it our serve. But the bail bonds guy said every time that they go down their server, he said he sees them peek out the window and they won't answer the door. And um, so he has not been able to serve her. And so I said, that's fine. She's supposed to be here at 6.30, but she sees all the cars and they're just gonna go. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the situation. And she's legit crazy. She's threatened Danny. Didn't she made that, that post about charges are coming and Danny's not done anything. Danny's had no contact with her. He's been staying at his house, which is way over in Falling Water on the other side. He, Danny's not been here. Me and my husband and my son, we've been up here all week taking care of all the animals, taking care of his chickens, his dogs. Danny's not been here. And Danny doesn't get off work until 6.30 and he's like, I'm not even going out to the house. He goes, call me and let me know once she has everything. He honestly is afraid to come to his own house because this woman has threatened him. He's like, I can't sleep. He goes, she's gonna kill me in my sleep. So the, the magistrate told him he's doing the right thing by getting her out of the house and that he felt that the no trespass order was the be better way to go because it's, you know, longer time frame than the other thing. But, um, yeah, so we don't have a house key. Um, Danny said this was all of her stuff. Um, so if there's anything else other than that, I don't know how to get, I guess her brother would just have to come up and get the other stuff and get with Danny to get her stuff. Yeah. But. Um, we've got her table, her chairs, we've got all of her stuff out here. And as you can see, none of it's been destroyed. We boxed everything up nice and neat for her. Even all of her trashy ashtrays, it was all through the house filled. I dumped them in the trash can and then put them in her boxes. I didn't just, you know, I could have been a bitch, I'm not like that, but anyways, yeah. So that's the deal. That's what's going on right now. Um, we, like I, like I told my mom, I said, oh great. So I get to get stuck out there and get killed. <laughs> So I called my husband because he he wasn't supposed to get off work till seven, and then I called my uncle. I said, "You guys got to come over with me. I ain't going over there by myself." And then my dad, my dad's a retired police officer, and he said, "You need to call the call the police and have them come out to the house to make sure that you guys are safe while she's getting her stuff." Yeah, as long as stuff's out here, and just is what it is. Yeah, no disturbance, right? As of right now. As of right now, no, no. Just to be so, safe. Like I said, I just I'm I have two kids at home and mom said, You're not taking them. I said, Hell no, I ain't taking my kids over there. I said they're teenagers, they're sixteen and fifteen, but still. I said, I ain't taking them over there. They can stay home where they're safe. What time she's supposed to be here? Six thirty. Six thirty. Time is it? Like fifteen after? Oh, my phone's dead. Yeah, six fifteen. Yeah, my phone died. I'm on hold with the please my phone died. Like, Babe, I need your phone. Okay. Expiration to 2021 comes back to a Tammy Hopkins 
or zero Hopkins, 29 is negative. One sixty one Berkeley, twenty eight through North Carolina. Well, go ahead. November. One sixty one is showing on a nineteen eighty nine Ford Escort. Expiration date of November two thousand twenty one. Then for me, sale on that team of that vehicle is a silver and color Escort. We're going to be on Edwin Miller Boulevard going over the interstate. Good. I'm going to make an approach. Please be on it. Responding. You guys have tag lights out. I don't know if you realize that or not. Yep. Okay. I got you. Um, is there any reason why you ducked into the the gas station? Yeah, I was turning off my door dash. Okay. And I pulled all the way up and got the springs. I pulled out the right Okay. Um, I mean, you do realize why it's a little bit suspicious, right? Like, right when I pulled out, you immediately turned in there, and then as I went around the back side, you immediately started pulling back out? Right, no, I totally understand that. Mm -hmm. I can show you if you want. It's just that it's like shit. I can see the phone real quick. I'll go run the information I got from you and then uh, whenever you find it just put your hand out the window. Don't get out. I don't want you getting hit by anybody. Is this your car or no? No. So who's who's the owner? Oh, okay, I got you. Sorry, I thought when you said she, I hit my car. I got you. Okay. Yeah, ten four. Yeah, I was gonna say I was just kind of doing the lights. I got you. Do, do you still have it on you? Oh, okay, state. All right, I got you. Okay. Information back. So, 
Yeah, just make sure you get that done. I mean, like I said, it was a little odd that you had pulled in, and then I, right when I wrapped around to get back onto the road, you were pulling back out. So, you know, you, you caught my eye with your with your tag lights, but then with that too, I was like, okay, I gotta I gotta at least talk to you a little bit. So. No, I totally understand. Yeah. what he told you but I would just get it fixed as soon as you can I mean oh yeah yeah I mean after so many warnings someone's going to write you an actual hardback for it and it's going to be way more trouble than what it's worth so you just get the ball throw them in there and you're good um, you're going to pull out before me because I don't want anyone smacking you behind so just take your time getting out and then once you roll out then I'll move all right yep Call down 51. 157, where is it? 157, go ahead. I'm going to call Severe J. I'm going to run to the mesh. Drop on paperwork. Sorry, they're coming. Negative, not at this time. Negative, not or Catholic Church. Jesus, I know, right? All right, I saw the house on top of the hill around there. We'll go see that. Come on, dude. I almost ate shit right there. I feel like there's interior, interior garage motion. I feel like it's just someone had tripped it when they came home. Well, somebody's been doing laps around the yard in a golf cart or four-wheeler or something. When they first walked up, yeah, I can't get to the storm door. I'm not gonna. If I beat on the storm door, no one's gonna hear that. I'm secure, but any luck getting a hold of the cube. Nothing broken, nothing fried. 
business making was actually home. I wonder if they had left and they tripped the alarm when they left. But I didn't see any, you know, I'm not seeing any cars, no no blinds are closing, you know, bedrooms are like wide open. Yeah. Which I mean, I don't know about everywhere. I don't know if I can have my window wide open or something like that. Yeah. We'll see. But from what I'm seeing right here, I think they, I think they left, and that's what tripped the alarms when they were leaving. Yoder and find out what I'm supposed to do with this if it's not State Maintain Road. I mean, 